Great Pyramid, erected by the Ancient Ones as a barricade at the portal between two dimensions, two separate realities. This is the story of one family drawn through a mysterious vortex into the other world and of their perilous trek homeward. Trek City. It was the largest province we'd been in so far, a population of over five million. This provided us with a comfortable anonymity. It was a quiet and orderly place, if a bit dull. I had a job at the engineering center designing windmill blades, but today I was a clown entertaining children at the clinic where June worked. I guess looking foolish isn't so bad if it's for a good cause. Besides, it was my first real taste of showbiz. By golly, I liked it. <laughs> hey, how'd it go? Kids said I was some kind of a monster. I guess they don't have clowns in this province. They don't have a lot of things here. You know, I finally figured out how to work this home entertainment center, but there's one problem. There's nothing on that's entertaining. There's no rock, no pop, no R&B. There's not even any country. But look, the television is just as bad. Dr. Claxon. How do you answer those critics who charge that the Church of Artificial Intelligence is nothing more than a secret organ used by the powers at EMAR to control the spiritual and intellectual lives of the people? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Could you be more specific? Is the Church of Artificial Intelligence even a church at all or nothing more than a government bureau? Young lady, have you ever read our canonical printout, the Pragmos? If the CAI is not secretly connected with the powers at EMAR, then why does your position always coincide with the government's? Oh, we'll disagree with the government any time it's wrong. It just hasn't been wrong so far. Then may I ask you this? What does your organization believe in? Do you believe in God or some deity? Well, <clears throat> nothing that specific. Yes, Those kinds of eyes. thoughts lead to fanaticism and... There are no fanatics in our organization. What's going on here? Hey, Diddy! I was just trying to balance some cups and saucers on my head. I failed. Why were you doing that, Gina? The talent show at school, I wanted to show some size, but Trace is already doing that. Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me that the best things that my kids can come up with are showing slides or balancing dishes on your heads? Well, I was going to go as a clown. But I don't think they have clowns in this world, Dad. Come on! Why don't you kids do something together? Sing! Uh, pass. Uh-uh. Oh, come on. Come on! The, the music in this place is terrible. It could be a big hit. Let's sit down in front and cheer for you. Even if you stink! Remember the rules, Dad. Schools here are off-limits to parents. They're afraid he might interfere with our educational development. <laughs> Very nice. Next.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Next. That was great, you know. I've never heard anything like it. Thanks. Mr. Drama was really upset, though. He said it was trash. Ah, uh, Mr. Drama is uncool. It's not like other music. It distorts time. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. I need to talk to you two in private. Do you mind? <laughs> See, ya. See you tomorrow. See you later. Well, what can I say? It's great. It's new. It's raw. It's distilled energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. My name is Billy Sunshine. I'm Trace. Hi, I'm Tina. You two are out of this world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks. You heard us. Oh, yeah. Friend of mine, janitor, lets me in to see the talent shows. By the way, uh, what do you call that music you were playing? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. It's very interesting. You know, you two might just have something there. Gee, do you really think so? Uh, do you have any more of that rock and roll music? Uh, yeah, lots of it. Well, we have to talk. I need to see you two tomorrow at my office. Right across from the Flextron building. You see, I'm what they call a booking agent. I think I can do You need to understand, they really loved us. I knew they would. I told you. Mom, you don't understand. We could be very big stars here. After the show, a booking agent came up to us. He thinks he can get us some jobs. Don't let a little applause go to your heads. It could be dangerous. Smith, come on. Who cares about the applause? It's the money and the curls I've always wanted. Seriously, everyone was so excited about the music. Do you realize that we just invented rock and roll? Tubby Precious Stones, The Intervals, Mellow Magic, and The Personalities. And Charles, William, James, and Stanley. Uh, uh, there's not a lot of variety here. Do you really think we'll fit in? Not fit in, stand out. You're new, you're raw, you're great, you're distilled energy. We know. You just put yourself into my hands. Believe me, this could be a lot bigger than you ever imagined. Now, the first thing you gotta do is get you into the studio, cut some repo discs on your songs. Uh, that sounds great. Uh, we have to ask our parents first, but uh, I don't think there should be any problem. No. Why not? Because it draws attention to yourself, and that is something we try never to do. How can it be drawing attention to us? It's only our voices on a record. He has a point. It is only their voices. Dad, we never get to do anything. Don't look at me like that, June. Do you think I enjoy saying no? Oh, come on, Dad. This is something June and I really want to do. Look, we just want to sing some of our songs. Your songs? Isn't that being a little dishonest? No. The people who wrote these songs do not even exist, at least not in this world. And besides, we never actually told Billy we wrote the songs. Yeah. And he wouldn't care who wrote them anyway. I want to meet this Mr. Sunshine. And he wants to meet you, too. We come down to the recording session he set up for us. Please, Daddy, let us do it. It's no big deal. We just want to have some fun. <sighs> Ready, please? Uh, no, no, no. Look, guys, I'm really sorry, but it's all wrong. Let us show you, okay? Hey, babe, you in the union? They don't have to be in the union if they're playing their own music. You heck, kid. Where did you kids come from? I, I love you. I want to 
want more, more, more. Okay, okay. Sooner, but um, Smith got locked in the bathroom and I had to take the door off the hinges. Thanks, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hiya. You guys are really <laughs> terrific. Hey, can we hear a playback? Sure. All right. What Rewind. else did you do? Oh, we did Benny and the Jets, Billy Jean, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Jumbo Jack Flash, Satisfaction, Come Fill the Noise, Space Oddity, Modern Love, Hey Jude, Sweet Dreams, Whip It, Lennon Collin, and the Beverly Hillbilly theme song. And that's just side A. June, Al. You know, I don't know where all these crazy lyrics come from. But I can smell a hit a blue million miles away. <laughs> Your kids. Talented songwriters. Billy. Yeah. Uh, we didn't actually... Oh, no! It's not damaged. I want you to treat that with the greatest care and respect, like your life depended on it, because it does. Don't you threaten me, Mr. Sunshine. Uh, this is going to take a little while. Um, so why don't you folks just go across the street, get a little bite to eat, and uh, we'll run the tape when you get back. Sounds good. About an hour. Rock and roll. Nice people. Probably never been outside this province. I hope they don't mind the spotlight. Because when this rock and roll hits the streets, they're going to be living it 25 hours a day. I'm going to make certain of it. Sunshine's here. He's very upset. He says our careers might be in trouble. Come on. I took your repo discs to all four stations in the province, and they hated it. They said that no one would want to hear it. You know what one of the uh, programmers at the Radio 2 called it? 
What? Noise. Noise? Hmm. Oh, man, I'm bummed. I've got a lot of nerve, considering the kind of garbage they play. Really? They're the most popular songs ever. Huh? Uh, what Smith means is they're some of Trace and Gina's best songs. Oh, sure. It's great, it's new, it's raw, it's distilled energy. Of course radio isn't going to like it, but are we going to let that stop us? Are we? No. No. You guys are going to have to... You guys are going to have to play live. We'll bypass radio and we'll take our case straight to the people. Uh, wait a minute. I think maybe... They're on our own. It's all arranged. See, all we have to do is get word out to the kids and make sure that the place is packed. It's, uh, it's known as creating a buzz. After that, radio will fall right into place. I wish I could be more excited about this. I'm excited. We're all going to be rich. <clears throat> Indecent, completely unacceptable. The music is subversive enough, but what are these lyrics? There is something in this music, sir, that hates authority. Who are these people? Where did they come from? I saw them first at school, the talent show. They had a very unsettling effect on the student body until Mr. Dromo pulled their plug. Then last night I saw them at the No Club. They were loud, uninhibited. And the crowd was overstimulated. It was scary. It's good that you brought this to my attention. Uh, there's something else, Dr. Claxon. If you play the repo disc backwards, listen to this. Interdimensional? Telewave, is that what I'm hearing? It must be some kind of hidden message. The next time they play, I want to know about it. I want to see this in person. Trace, wait. Hi, Zeta. Hi, Trace. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah? Well, I've seen you. I saw you play last night. It was really great. I've never heard anything like that before. It's only rock and roll. But I'm glad you like it. Listen, um, I was wondering what you're going to be doing next Friday night, because that's when we're having the Kusa Fest, and I thought... Well, I thought maybe... you said you were already going with someone. Things change. I really want to go with you now. Well, uh, I don't know, maybe. When do you need to know by? Whatever. 
I just really want to. I'll see ya. Okay. Are you going to math next or citizenship next? Ah, great. Go! Ah, great. Thanks. You're standing on my practical integrated citizenship notes. Please get off. You and your brother have obviously learned nothing in citizenship class anyway. Your so-called rock and roll proves that. Please take your foot off of my paper. Ouch! You guys, stop it! Guys, stop it! Both you young thugs report to my office immediately. This girl bit me in the leg. I did not. You and your brother are responsible for this. You are disrupting my thought center. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, come on, honey. Think of all the people you're making happy. Happy? I scare those kids half to death. No, you don't. They love you. Think of it this way. The way you look, all those teenage girls will never know your traces, father. The only kisses you're going to get today are from me. That's not funny. The first real problem we have and the music stops. The kids are just having a good time so far. Centrex is huge. Nobody's going to notice, I don't think. Do you realize that in a city of five million people, I am the only clown? I know. Smile. <laughs> Mr. Sterling, my name is Baxter Dromo. I'm the principal at Developmental Thought Center 47, and I need to interface with you about your children. Yeah, well, uh, come on in. Well, I must say I'm very surprised. Gita has never bitten anyone before. It's not so much the biting, Mr. Sterling. That happens all the time. I'm in control. I can handle things like that. It's their whole attitude, and it's beginning to infect the entire student body. I'm Mr. Bromo. Whatever do you mean? It's this primitive, unbridled rhythm they produce. It's unconventional. It's wrong. Well, they are wild kids. I've always said that. But they're good kids, and they speak very highly of you. They do. Oh, why, yes, just, just the other day, Gina was telling me that when she grows up, she wants to marry a man with your qualities. She did? Yes. Um, don't worry. I'll have a talk with them. I promise. Do. <laughs> Touching me. 
It's strange, but we like it, huh, babe? Are we happening? We are. Hey, you guys, come here, one TV. Little dad sees this. What do they do home? Well, they're both working late tonight. This incredible Watch New York rise in popularity has culminated in the sale of over 600,000 repo discs. All right! Oh, oh yeah! Woo but no success is complete without its detractors. Dr. Scorpus Claxon of the Church of Artificial Intelligence had this to say on the subject. This rock and roll represents a grave peril to our youth. It causes them to question authority and denigrate the establishment. On my way over here today, I saw a young man, and he had excessive facial hair. <laughs> In other news, nutritional experts warn again. Who is Claxton to give us some trouble? Are you kidding? We couldn't buy that kind of publicity. just a little inconvenient. Ah, uh, oh, maybe this will help put it in perspective. Face, Gina, your first week's royalty checks. <laughs> Try not to spend it all in one place, huh? I don't think we could have we tried. I've never seen so many zeros. Let's go shopping. Let's. <laughs> so cool they opened up this whole department store just for us. Hey, they opened the bank for me after it's closed. Why not Rebos? <laughs> I'm no good at decisions. Whichever one I choose, the other one's gonna get his feelings hurt. I wish I could have them all, but that would be too expensive. Too expensive for who? Some farmer, maybe. Look, you want him? You got him, babe. Thanks. Well, what do you think? Can't think anymore. Can only feel. And? Wonderful. Uh, could I get your autograph? How's that? <gasps> Trays, look! Oh, I've always wanted one of these. When you look through Wonder Glass, you see the world as it should be, not as it is. Maybe I ought to get one of these for Mom and Dad. Trace, come here. Come on. What's up? Look. It's us. going on here we just bought a few things there's some stuff for you and mom uh, a present for zeta some clothes a couple of prisms a, a new car how do you go from a high school talent show to all this in just two weeks did you know about this no i guess you guys just don't shop in the right stores radio television dolls do you know what this is doing this is jeopardizing the whole family. I don't know where we're going, but we may have to leave this province. I don't think it's going to be that easy. There's a crowd everywhere we go. We do have a responsibility to our fans. You have a responsibility to your family, young lady. Now explain something to me. How could you possibly spend 40,000 fawns in 25 hours? It was hard. Fun. Hard fun, yeah. Listen, some things are real and something's illusions. If you forget that, you're going to end up as nothing more than one of these. Plastic. You don't see children playing with Prater dolls anymore. You see them playing with these. Express yourself. Be cool. Still, Doctor, they're just dolls. It's a fad. Gina and Trace dolls today. Tomorrow, Dr. Claxon dolls. 
I want them expelled. I want you to make an example of them. But they really haven't done anything wrong. No. They have defied the order of things. Did you know that if you play their repo disc backwards, you can hear secret messages? We are losing control, Mr. Dromo. Who knows where it will end? I talked to their father. I hoped it would do some good. But I can't expel them without a concrete reason. As you know, Mr. Dromo, my organization is, shall we say, well connected to the highest echelons of the government. I could have funding for this thought center dropped. Or you fired. I recall Oringo and Paul. George and John and the music that they spawn. <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, go again from the top, from the top. I recall Ringo and Paul. George and John. Uh, but now they are gone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Ooh, the rock city. Trace, Gina. Yeah? You've been expelled from school. We didn't do anything. Oh, sure we did, Trace. We resisted the pressure to become mediocre. We just didn't fit in. Is that right? Hey, babe. Guards let me through. I've got some big, big news. We already got some big news. Oh, mine's more important, please. You know, just when you thought we couldn't climb any higher, we are about to explode through the roof. <laughs> I booked you guys in concert at the Opal Oratorium. It's going to be a sellout. Simultaneously, video beam live over Network 3 with, with enough watch spillage to, 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 to reach over at least more than two other provinces. Trace and Gina just got expelled from school. I'm stunned that you would interject such an unimportant piece of information. I mean, what is school compared to millions and millions of fonts? School is preparation for life. They're living it now, so who cares? We care. Well, if you want to consider it done, all it takes is cash. We've got plenty of that. Is that just a solution to every problem? Trash! Burn! Just trash! Pile garbage! You don't understand, but this is going to be a big payoff. Filth! Burn the filth! The tickets, the, the merchandising, the safe rides, I pre-sold everything. You've got to do the concert. It is all over, Billy. You can forget it right now. Don't worry. They won't get through my car. Let's burn it! freedom. We have no choice now. You mean we have to quit? I mean you are gonna play no matter what. <laughs> Oh, 
having a nightmare. It was awful. What do you want? You know who is here. She's in the kitchen. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to need tickets for everybody. Cindy asked if she could have backstage passes, but I told her that only I could go backstage. Hey, you're my main babe. I'm going to need a new dress for the concert. Yeah. Figured you would. Trace. Come here. Trace. What's wrong? Nothing. What could be wrong? You've reached emergency reception eight. What is your penetration code? CAI 2XXON Pulver Centrix. Penetration confirmed. How may I assist you? I need to talk to Dr. Uh, to the Praetor at once. Yes? Uh, this is Dr. Claxon, CAI, Centrex Province. I have a situation here that I think warrants your attention. My attention? What? There's a uh, movement afoot here called rock and roll. It's a, a, a sound. Uh, a music that causes the listener to, to gyrate and question our authority. Surely you did not contact me for that. No, if you could only see what I'm talking about, there is going to be a performance. Perhaps you could send a, a team of observers. I do not have the manpower to waste on petty social upheaval. It is your job to control things of that nature. That is why the leader established the CAI. But our whole social structure is threatened. It, it could spread. Isn't there anyone you could send? Yes. Yes, I think I have a man. He will be dispatched shortly. I think the wet look is me. Trust me. Oh, tonight's the night. <laughs> Scared? <laughs> Stiff. Kids. We need to have a serious talk. After the show tonight, we're not coming home. Somehow, I think we already knew. And so tonight, we strike a blow for freedom, huh? Won't be stars anymore. You'll always be stars to me. Take what you need, because we won't ever be able to come back to this house again. Let's go. The silence is waiting to be broken. Oh, phew. I was afraid you had already left. I was up there trapped in the bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> Rock and roll. Let's go. for our code of normalcy. No, no respect for our authority. Well, she's kind of cute. Commander, I don't think you're taking this thing seriously. Very perceptive, Dr. Claxon. You see, 
sending me here was the Praetor's idea of a little joke. I don't think it's very funny. Commander about? Kroll is in the audience. He found us. Who's Come Kroll? On. What's going on? You gotta get back Billy, out there. Billy, huh? Billy, we need our trouble. We're wanted by the zone troopers. Oh, well, that's aiding and abetting criminals. Besides, I don't want you to go. I need you Billy, guys. It's not gonna be any good to get caught with us. We're history. All right, that's it. Let's go. Wait, Coleman, get the limo. Gina, have that up your door. I don't like you, and I don't like this place! You came through for us, Billy. You're all right. Thanks. Hey, you guys, you made me rich. You made my career. I'm only sorry it had to end so soon. You'll be all right. Oh, sure. I got a dozen new rock and roll bands. Want to sign up with me? You can't leave. Here. This is all you wanted anyway. Money. It's not true. I love you really, man. Really? Maybe I was wrong. Well, if you're gonna go, I have to have something. You'll always be number one, of course. Really? Rock and roll will never die. Hey, come on, you guys are wanted. Get out of here. What's the matter, baby? There's no money in here. I'm glad I used you. It was 
time to get out of the way of the wave we had created. Centrex would never be the same. Neither would we. For castles made of sand must fall into the sea eventually. Eastern, CBS Sports will present live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of Stock Car Racing's premier event, the Daytona 500. Now stay tuned for the return of one of New York City's finest, and he's facing his toughest case ever. Max Von Sido, Suzanne Pleget, and Telly Savalas star in Kojak, The Bolaris File, a CBS special movie presentation, next, following sports break.